Well, it's so good to see the four of you guys. I'm here with the Miro String Quartet today. We're talking about Austin Pictures. Um, the last time that the Miro Quartet played with us here at the Austin Classical Guitar Society, it was at the Long Center downtown, uh, right. and we played a concert with Adam Holtzman, uh, the great guitar professor here at the University of Texas. And the show that we have planned on October 1st is a very different kind of a show, uh, in that one of the things that you guys are going to be doing is working with an ensemble of over 100 young guitar players coming from over a thousand miles away. And um, John, I thought I'd start with you and see, uh, do you guys work with young people a lot? And, and maybe some, some thoughts that you might have just about getting young people involved in music, the importance of that work. That well, we Matt, we, we do work with young people a lot. And there's nothing more fun and stimulating for us as, you know, hardened old professionals right. to really share um, the joy of what we do and also re-experience that joy that a young player, maybe in high school or junior high school, has for the first time when they're discovering a piece, learning how to do something uh, for the first time, expressing themselves mm -hmm. for the first time, but even better, getting together in a group mm -hmm. of other people that their own age, that like what they're the same things that they do and are on stage and actually making that energy happen. It's amazing when their faces just light up or, it's or, really or when a musical goal is achieved with the, with the conductor or with, with you guys as you're coaching with them and of course the performance itself. Makes is. me feel 14 again. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous. And there's actually a young composer that you all have worked with a bit That's right. um, in Joseph Williams II That's who right. is uh, writing this piece, <laughs> Austin Pictures. So we, so we have a young, a young composer as well as many young performers. Well and that's something that we also do a lot as a string quartet. We like to commission new works, but particularly from composers that aren't famous yet, people mm -hmm. don't know them yet, perhaps this is their first string quartet, or in this case work for <clears throat> string quartet and guitars. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of mentoring mm -hmm. that we can give to a young composer who's just cutting their teeth, just mm -hmm. finding their way, um, showing them how the instruments really can sound this way or that way, working with them, um, that's stimulating for us, but also something we feel it's really important for the quartet uh, to do for the future of music. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, something else you guys are going to be doing is uh, is working with one of my favorite guitar players in the world, a Peruvian named Jorge Caballero, who happens also to be a Naumburg winner. The Miro Quartet, of course, is Naumburg winning um, a string quartet, but Jorge happens to be, uh, a, at the time, the youngest winner of a Naumburg prize and also the only guitarist to win one as well. So we'll have a nice little meeting of the Naumburgs nice. here on the, on the okay. stage. Uh, one of the pieces you guys are going to play with Jorge is um, is a uh, work by Boccherini, a quintet that he includes the very famous Fandango. And Josh, I was going to go to you on this one because I know there's a lot of cello uh, uh, all kind of on display in that piece. It's a lot of fun. And, and maybe you could tell us just a little bit about what that Boccherini Fandango is like. Sure. Yeah, I get a, I get really excited every time they somebody programs this piece. Uh, not only because it was one of the first collaborations we ever did uh, with Elliot Fiss, but Boccherini was a cellist, um, a professional cellist, and he was like the virtuoso of the highest order. Mm -hmm. The guy was... He really sort of elevated the cello as a solo instrument um, during his time, and he wrote a huge amount of repertoire for solo cello, but he also wrote a ton of chamber music, actually often quintets, um, sometimes with two cellos. Mm. Uh, in this case, he, well, he wrote a number of quintets with guitar. Um, but usually the quintets with guitar he wrote for himself and a donor of his who was an amateur guitarist. Oh. Um, so even though we often think of it as a guitar quintet, mm -hmm. really the feature instrument is the cello because I guess the amateur wasn't particularly good. <laughs> <laughs> so he kept, he kept the guitar part pretty simple. Um, and I know that some guitarists, we're not sure what Jorge's gonna do, yeah, but sure. Elliot often sort of embellishes, embellishes yeah, on nice. the guitar part. Uh, but there's lots of fireworks for the cello um, and it is always really fun to play. Well, I mean, we're looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, it's a real like foot stomper. It's great. For Fantastic. the end, yeah, it's, it's spectacular. Fantastic. Um, Will, I wanted to make sure and talk with you because you are a new addition to the New Rose Street Quartet, and I know a lot of our audiences haven't had a chance to meet you yet, and I would love to know just a little bit about you, maybe your background, and, and uh, what it's like to be here with the New Rose Street Quartet sure. here well, in Austin. You know, it's, it's fun to hear the talk about the Fandango because I, I actually was born and grew up in Calgary, Alberta. Mm. And so there's a lot of similarities between, that's sort of the Texas of Canada. And so here, <laughs> here I am in Texas all of a sudden. It feels very much like home, except a little hotter. And um, I, I grew up, actually, uh, what kept me on the violin was country western fiddling. 
And oh, yeah. so I grew up uh, for a number of years when I was, I think I joined when I was in, in seven. Wow. Well, in the Calgary Fiddlers, which is a group that went around and toured, and we came down mm. to Texas and all really? over. Really? Yeah, and um, you know, I, from there, of course, did, I always kept up my classical music training, mm -hmm. and uh, actually was at Rice University for my undergrad. I may not, should, right probably shouldn't say road. that at UT Austin, <laughs> okay, um, but uh, did my undergrad there and did some work at Indiana University as well, mm -hmm. and uh, for a number of years was in in two different string quartets. I was in the Borromeo String Quartet, which oh was based in Boston. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, then just recently was in the Fry Street Quartet, which is based out in Utah. Fantastic. Feels very much to be like home. On, on top of that, you know, Daniel and I have known each other. I was thinking oh about my. this last night since I was 13. Oh, wow. <laughs> and um, these guys I haven't known quite as long, but it, it very much feels, feels at home, and it's such a wonderful thing to be a part of here. Yeah, I, I can tell in just the few in the in the short time that I've been here how loved the Miro is. Yeah. How how warm the welcome has been is just it's just amazing. It's wonderful. Well, we are absolutely delighted to have you here, you. and yes. um, we look forward to many wonderful concerts and much more work uh, uh, from the Miro String Quartet with you as the second violinist. And I should say that we've just, of course, said goodbye, and we're terribly sad to say goodbye to the second violinist who ha who has just retired, and that's uh, actually happens to be your wife, Daniel. It happens to be. <laughs> Uh, Sandy Yamamoto. So, so, um, so uh, I, I finally remember as though it was yesterday uh, the the last concert you guys did with Sandy in in, in May. Uh, Daniel, I'd love to hear from you um, uh, a bit about what's next for the quartet. And uh, well, we've got a lot of really exciting things that we're doing. And Will had any preconceptions about us just sitting around and, <laughs> and always playing with 150 guitar. guitar right? yeah. That's just yeah. the beginning. We're just, we're just we're just getting started. You know, but uh, we've got a number of things that are are quite exciting. Um, we have a trip actually to New York um, and we're working on a project. Um, actually, it's a, it's a series of concerts that we're doing in uh, with collaboration with a stage actor. Actually, he's a screen actor as well, Stephen Delane. Mm. And this is something that we've done two years ago with him. It was kind of an experiment back then, but he um, it's based around T.S. Eliot's uh, a poet, poetry, uh, four, four quartets. And what he does is he does a solo, memorized, mm. dramatic reading of the of the poems. Phenomenal. And then we follow up after an intermission playing Beethoven's Opus 132 quartet. Mm. And we're going to get to do this at Lincoln Center six nights in a row. Wow. Uh, so Fantastic. it's that's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to put Will to work yeah. pretty much right away. And yeah, we'll, we'll do something too. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for participating in Austin Pictures. We're super excited about the project. I know all the young people that are joining us are really excited about the project and being having an opportunity to get on stage with all of you. So uh, we look forward to it, and we're looking forward to much more uh, with you guys in the years to come. Thanks, Thanks. man.